Did you ever watch pro Warzone players like Tommy or Doug is Raw and you think to yourself that they're killing guys way faster than you can and it doesn't make any sense? Well, it's because they're much better players. It actually has absolutely nothing to do with which gun they're using and which attachments they have on their gun. The time to kill of any gun is a set factor. You can use the exact same gun setup as any pro player in Warzone. What pro players do really, really well Pros like Tommy and Doug is Raw, they center the, their crosshairs, the little white dot in the middle of their screen. They make sure that it's always centered on their target as quickly and as early in a gunfight as possible. So that by the time they start shooting, they don't have to spend any time recentering, moving their crosshairs onto the target because the target's already lined up. J God made a video about the difference between bad centering and good centering and uh, displayed some really good centering examples from uh, Tommy and Doug is Raw, who are two very, very good pro players in Warzone. But J-God didn't really go into detail as to why this is so important. Uh, it seems pretty obvious on the surface, but what it really does is it cuts down drastically between the time you see your target and when you finally kill them. So let's take a look at a clip from that J-God video of Doug is Raw and absolutely perfect centering and what it can do to your enemy in a gunfight. Where he, he ends up taking this guy out, but then when he drops down here, look at the centering on this. You can see how he kind of deliberately angles his person, so when he jumps down, he's right on there. We're going to watch. This okay, notice where he's lined up. As soon as he drops, he is precisely centered on his enemy's chest area, right? And some of those shots are probably going to go up into the head area, just from the natural recoil kick of the gun. Uh, this is perfect flawless centering but this is what we need to aspire to and this is what we need to practice if we want to get our time to kill our ttk fta from target acquisition if we want to get that number down as far as possible this is what we all need to be working on especially when there is a strong meta and a lot of players are using very similar guns with similar times to kill uh centering is a very very important factor essentially when you and your enemy have targeted each other at the same time the person who centers better and gets on their target first has a great chance of winning that gunfight that's how important centering is if you liked the video please give it a like i want to see if i can maybe hit my new like record on this video but only if you like it if you don't uh, that's fine i'll do better for you next time uh, but if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment below in the video too um, and I'll definitely respond to you as soon as possible. I try to respond to literally every comment I get on all of my videos. And if you have something you want to say that you don't really want it to be public, you don't want to make it uh, down in the comment section, uh, send me an email. It's uh, jrock at jrockgaming.com. Really easy. Send me an email. I'll respond. And always remember, Warzone is hard, but so are we.